talked about Falco Luigi and how bad it is. Jar Ryden handled Neuer just fine, but everything Neuer is, Rocky is more of in at least what's relevant here. Rocky is the only top 100 player in the room, and for that reason, the easy first seed. Off the top, no, no, why am I saying that? Uh, this isn't Yoshi's. <laughs> I like the choice of the dare, and I also have no idea how Jaraiden was standing when he got down on the ground. There's the tornado. Oh, he got the tech breed, and how much damage is it going to go? But not a lot. The back here will kill Luigi, and Rocky with the first star. For comparing to Azul, I think Rocky is a fair bit more methodical than Azul is. Uh, when I play Azul, the rare times those happen, I am just impressed with how technical spaces are, and how suffocating they can be. When I play Rocky, I'm impressed with uh, how precise they can be. So just different styles of play. This is a lot of damage. Holy crap, this is a lot of damage. Uh, that's another problem with Falco Luigi, is Falco doesn't really lose an enormous amount on the combo game that he normally has. And... They're not gonna take it yet. Rocky's gonna have good DI, you bet. Three stocks to three! And a couple of shots. Lot of damage done, just in general, in Falco Luigi for Falco. We're seeing that come out. Gets the weak hit, he's not going to kill immediately. If he'd gotten the strong hit, Ja Raiden probably would have died either off the top or off the side. Doesn't get punched for the down smash. There, not going to take it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's kind of cheeky, Rocky. Uh, he got it. He, if he gets it, I'm not going to question his methods, but wow. We're really going to start off like that. So, got Ryan looking for an edge guard. That should be that edge guard. It is. Even game. Laser grab. Laser grab is crazy, and it's really difficult to do anything about. Fair. Another fair. It hits a certain hitbox. Smart tech away. If you tech in or in place against Luigi, he can do the down smash that Jaraiden did and cover both of those options. Tech away is the solution. So very good presence of mind. And that should be a dead Luigi unless we get Mr. Comedic Timing over here. Nah, no, doesn't need it. Just air dodges back, and uh, now this could be a problem. I think you have big problems, sir. More damage goes for a tech where he doesn't get it, but the, the equalizer is there, and that's a downer. Now Rocky has to find some way back. He does, but terrible the eye on the forward air. Jaw riding with the advantage. Ah, <laughs> looking for like some bait out of shield or something of that sort. Can't get it. Even. Even as even gets. That was not a great way to start it off for either player. Rocky for exposing himself, Jaron, for not being able to hit it. It catches the shine. Can't get anything quite yet. Barely. The F smash, I don't know about that one. I, I think the tension might be getting to one or both of these guys. And Rocky boxing Ja riding out, and uh, that's all the boxing he's going to do, unless once again. Uh, not yet. Yeah, he's going to need press again. Rocky knows. Of course Rocky knows. Why wouldn't he? Game one to Rocky.
FD? It would make sense. Yeah, there you go. The thing about FD is, uh, you saw that occasionally Rocky would be able to get out of the Luigi follow-ups on the platforms or something like that. FD denies him that. So, if Jaraiden gets an opening, he's going to be able to extend on it more and more, and here he comes. Misses the read. If he had that read, Rocky was almost certainly dead, and he may be. Sets up the chain grab. Another? Yeah! <laughs> the Jaraiden special. Up throw up be. See you later. Can't get that edge guard. The dare hitting the bear just barely. Hey, barely. Cannot set up the chain grab further. But, yeah, he's getting most of the openings now. A side B from Rocky. It's going to lead to all this, isn't it? Misses a wave dash. A bit unfortunate and unusual for Jaw right now. And off the top he goes. Even stocks, but yeah, I was going to say, Rocky's at percent where if he's hit with any of Luigi's knockup moves, uh, he might just die, and he's in the process of doing that. He does get out, but now he's, in the, he's at the point where if he's hit with any one aerial or like a grab, he stands to die. Up throw, and, ah! He has the nair in that situation, or the fair. He picks the fair, doesn't work out. And that's just too good DI to hit. Now we're at a weird percent. Ah, now we're not anymore. The F-Tilt solving that problem for Jaw Raiden, and he goes up. Can't convert off the knockdown. That, not, that knockdown in particular is kind of devastating, because it's been not great for morale either. If you get hit with that downbeat, it's like, ah, downbeat's so laggy. It, I shouldn't. Well, it has the stun to compensate for that. So you really shouldn't underestimate Luigi now. There it is again. But detail is not going to kill. Is he back? Yes. Barely. Very close spacing. That was a dare. Uh... Almost certainly, if that was a dare, Jaw Raiden would be dead. But as it is, we're right here with Rocky and Chain Grab. Jaw Raiden elects to not have the Chain Grab, gets blasted off for his troubles. But again, Rocky's a precarious percent here. With Luigi, the buildup of percent makes sense. It's not like Marth, where people are more likely to die at one point, and then they get less likely to die for a while, and then they get more likely to die again. Uh, Luigi's percent... His percent option to make a whole lot of sense, and this is going to be some kind of aerial at some point, unless he does that. An edge guard? Oh, yeah, I don't know what he was supposed to do with that. Up air? Not dead yet. Two F tilts should take it, it does. And Jal Ryden looking to take a game from Rocky on his counter pick. And it is a very good counter pick. I've lost sets because I forgot to ban this stage. But Rocky putting it even real quickly. Up tilt and a lot of damage. And again, that's a down air. And wow! He nearly just killed him off that. That's absurd. How 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 is Falco this ridiculous? Uh, wait, wait. Oh, you pressed B. Okay. If he does lose, it's at least not gonna be because he pressed B. That's always the unfortunate one. But it's looking like he's gonna take it. Just needs the one aerial and kind of tries to cover everything. When you try and cover everything, you often fail, and moreover, you often fail in the way your opponent is recovering. John Ryden takes game two.
Rocky's counter pick. I don't think he really has to pick anything specific. He goes to Stadium. Luigi hates the transformations because Luigi is a ground character and the transformations basically don't have ground on them. That Nair is a pretty big pickoff and he can't get any damage off it beyond the two aerials he did get, which is that's a lot. There, that'll do it. Jairaiden again taking first stock. He has looked not only competitive, he has been right in there. And maybe even having the advantage against Rocky, who is without question the best player in the room. Just, I love that off smash. That's a great choice, that's not a great choice, and... Oh! <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> Getting bailed out by the 1 and 8. I think 1 and 8's way too good odds for that, but Luigi's not very good. So whatever. Dr. Raiden kills Rocky with the Dare Spike and has a solid advantage. Big shield pressure. Dr. Raiden's really good at using shield, but if you rely on shield too much, that can happen to you. And eventually you have to drop it and let your opponent do something and hope you can hit it. Ah, he nearly got it. He nearly got that clip. I think he was going for like a shine up air or something like that, and it would have killed. It's stadium. The ceiling's not very high. He's doing halfway up on the stage. Oh, that's, yeah, that's greedy. Rocky knows. Great strafe to get back. Back air will kill. It does. Two stock for two. Fair is gonna take it. So yeah, riding with the advantage. Can't get anything off the air. He knows. If you do know, that's great. Oh wow! Uh, I really appreciate the attempt, but it was risky. And if you go for anything risky against Luigi, uh, I would advise you to stop doing that, because he, he is very good at punishing unnecessary risks. And that down air, not only a necessary risk, but barely even risky. It was almost a short because of the lag on Luigi's moves. Luigi is one of the few characters that Falco cannot shine grab into further shine follow-ups. So he does get out. I guess that's uh, the anti-up throw up air of Fox for the Falco matchup. Lots of shots. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's interesting. So Jar is just gonna do a few cartwheels back there, I guess. Ah! Thinks about going in. Rocky gonna try to make him think better of it. Really wise lasers. Ah, uh, yeah, he got hit again. All Jar needs is probably just a grab, something like that. That could have been enormous. It's not. And the Nair is going to do the interrupt as it does. That's among the more infuriating things about fighting this character. I've talked about you can't overextend, that's why. Great platform cancel, so just know that that's possible. That might do it though. Not yet. Good DI down on the F tilt. And we are at last hit, I'd say. Rocky trying to get that last hit. Can't just yet. That maybe could have been a shield grab, and that was a risky down B. And now here we are. And Rocky is not going to take game three just yet. Jaraiden with an excellent fall to come back, and there's the fair. And that will do it. And we are 2 1 for Jaraiden. So 2-1, I don't know if Rocky's going to pick the same 
counter pick, but the ball is certainly in his court, and he's going to need to come up with something if he wants to win the set. He certainly does. Pocket with a few choices. Yoshi's? All right. Yoshi's is going to help him get more kills, and that's great. If he can set up those shine combos, the shine stuff is particularly devastating on this stage, on this stage because you get the option of going for double shine off the top. And if Jaraiden hadn't DI'd that as well as he did, he probably could have just gone for it right there. Back here's not going to take it. Uh, he went for the fire stall and couldn't get the right spot, but he has all the damage so far, so nothing to write home about just yet. Back here will do it. That might have also been a dare attempt, but if he had dared, I don't know if he'd have gotten the hit in. And the Phantom Shine. Saving Ja Ryan from a world of hurt, but Rocky with uh, everything he needs so far. F throw, F tilt to ledge. I love the get up attack. I think that's a really great option to nair. Yeah. That's a kill off the top. And Ja Ryan with the stock. And one of the things I hate about this particular matchup, and I don't want to jinx it, but. Um, if you get down thrown by Luigi at the ledge, he can dare you, and you just die immediately. It's, it's terrible. I don't know, no, I don't know why I feel inclined to tell you that now. It's just, it's a drop zone follow up, and I don't like it very much. That's a dead jar ride. Both players looking for a bit of combo potential, obviously. And... nothing. Ah! I spoke too soon. And the getup, and Ja Ryden! I am continuously impressed with this man. When he came here, we knew he was going to hold his own, but we didn't know to what extent. And I think uh, he's going to be put on the PR uh, next cycle. If not in, like, a... wow. <laughs> not in a concrete form, at least as honorary mention, I'd have to imagine he may be about to beat number five. Let's see if he can convert on that promise. Uh-oh. That could be a big knockdown, and again, there it is, but he can't get anything off it immediately. That's another one, but again, no follow -ups. That's a dead Luigi. Last stock in game four. That side B looked terrible, but it was great, because of course it was. No punish on that. The up air was so great. Wow. And now Rocky's over here. Can, maybe he's going to get a cheesy dare or something like that. No. No. No, he's not. Not yet, anyway. Looking for another aerial, and the shy guys say hello, and we go to game five. Yoshi's story makes its gimmicks known and extends the set. After that, the task is Jar Ridens to recover. Checking boxes for now. Jaraden, these are the, these are the stages Jaraden's won on. So these are his options. He can do the thing that Rocky did and go to Yoshi's. He can go Battlefield, Dreamland, which I think Rocky won on, or he can go to Fountain. And those are his options. He's pondering extensively right now, and I'm not going to blame him for doing so. It's a very precarious situation.
Fountain? Fountain. Alright. So, what Fountain's good for is it's upsetting fast people. Uh, if people are too fast on Fountain of Dreams, you can make sure that they lose their momentum. You see things like Axis four stock of Silent Wolf on this stage. That's part of why. Silent Wolf's a really technical player. Axis as well, but he chose to upset Silent Wolf's tech skill and go here. But uh, so far, it's looked all rocky in the first 20 seconds. And it's really, really hard to recover from something cheesy like that. You just... You feel like, why bother if you're going to put real effort in? But you're going to lose to that. And, uh... Rocky with the first stock definitively. platform and he gets the drop near all right Jiren fighting back can he get the edge guard not yet give him a moment no hey how about now great shorten from Rocky great roll as well Jiren cannot get to it and here's all the damage in the world gets the weird pop up it doesn't matter that's another dead Jiren Rocky with a dominant start in game five gets the weak near can't convert off it doesn't have the answers right now that's that is dead Rocky yes Rocky gets a grab, not going to get anything off it in the immediate sense. Gets clipped, though. Hey, we have a game. Can't get the grab read. Rocky with another grab. Another one? Yeah, and a little bit of damage, but... The kill aerial has not fallen yet, although it might be a good percent for that to happen. Rocky's going to keep building a lot of damage. No DI. That's another dead Jai Ride, and he's on winner's stock. And it's going to take a miracle. There's a start, though. This is how it starts. Is he dead? I think he should be. Great get attack, cover everything. Fantastic back here. Two stock to one. Jai Ride needs a zero death. He has them in the past. We know what he's capable of. This is a lot of damage from Rocky, putting Jar Riding on the ropes. No DI on the F Smash again. This could be it. He has a suicide dare option, doesn't need it. Rocky takes it. 3-2. Goes in the winner's finals against Umarth. <laughs>